bow our heads in prayer. O oh, wisdom divine, just as you inspired the mothers of our faith, grant us your knowledge and discernment so that we can learn how to be clever in our compassion and courageous in our faith, through Christ and in the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading today may be found in Luke chapter 9, verses 23 through 25. May God's blessing be upon the reading and hearing of these words. Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very self? This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you. Thank you. Take a moment to pray with me, please. Lord, fill my, fill my lungs with your breath. Fill my mouth with your message. And that all that I say and all that I do bring honor and glory to you and to you alone. I ask all things in the name of the risen Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So our gospel reading today is packed full of instructions on how to be a disciple. Last week we talked about go and make disciples, but today our readings are very specific about how to be a disciple. We must deny ourselves. We must take up our cross. We must follow Jesus. We must lose our life in order to save our life. And know that we can't gain the whole world and lose our soul. And we cannot be ashamed of Jesus. That's a pretty powerful four sentences. And if we read the New Living Translation, it says it this way. In order to follow Jesus, in other words, to be a disciple, put aside selfish ambition. Shoulder our cross daily. Follow Jesus. Give up our life for Jesus. Then we will find true life and we cannot.